Hello, everybody. This is Francisco Martinez for um, Application Deployment 1. And this is the Milestone 2 video. Uh, so once again, I'm using um, X Mirage, which is right here. So actually get the, show you how to, well, just demo the app using my iPad right now. Um, as you can see, I do have an icon set up right now. So it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to actually start from the bottom again and then work my way up. Uh, one of the new additions is now I have a Twitter feed. So, um, it show, obviously it shows our logo on the top, but it also shows uh, where you can follow us, which is at um, esk underscore artists. And if you choose one of these, it actually shows the actual tweet and when it was dated and everything like that. The back button works on this one for some reason, which is, uh, I will explain why I had to say that in a little bit. Um, I also added our YouTube account. Now, currently we only have two videos because, like I said, we just started on it. Um, our first video is actually from our first showcase. So I just wanted to play that real quick. Uh, so it does work, and I also added a back button so then people can go back and watch whatever kind of videos they want. Um, <clears throat> I also added the Kickstarter that we have. Um, now, mind you, we don't have the Kickstarter set up just yet, so I decided to use this as a placeholder. So um, the user, once we get everything going, the user can actually get on to Kickstarter and actually, um, you know, to, like check out what we're doing, maybe even donate to us if they feel like it um both the kickstarter page and the youtube page are on browsers so i just wanted to make sure that everybody was able to access these as simple as possible um the event page is still under construction i could honestly say um i've been having a lot of trouble trying to get this to work uh, i was able to meet up with the professor and she gave me the idea of using a navigation con uh, controller instead of using just a bunch of um uh, table views so I'm gonna try and work on that but I think it's best I only use um, future project the future event that we're gonna be doing because I wanted to do like a past and a present and a future event selection and show the list of artists there but every time I try and do that it seems to be getting worse and worse so I rather I would rather just show the upcoming event instead of the old ones uh, the camera app still kind of works. I'm still trying to figure out a way to actually get it fixed a bit because it does take the picture and people don't have to save it. I decided to take that out. Um, if they want to retake it, I'm going to press retake now. They can always retake it and then take the picture again and then they can use it. And it will actually be saved on their gallery. Um, I do have to change the caption that says edit your photos the way you want. Um, and then this leads me to the about page. Um, as I said, the about page is, the about page is pretty much finished. Um, my only problem is trying to well, I have a couple of problems. One of the problems is trying to actually get all this information on here. It's like a couple of paragraphs, and it's not like all bunched up into one thing. Um, another issue is that my back button doesn't really work, and it crashes the app. Uh, I don't know why it does that. Um, I've been trying to figure out a way to fix it but it seems to run this is the way I have it set up is almost the same as I have it set up on my Twitter feed you know like I push the button on here and it works fine so I don't know why it doesn't work that way um, currently this is how everything looks so hopefully it'll look better I really want to try and change the design of the app um, the orange background is there because it kind of works with the logo in some way. Uh, but I really, really want to add some kind of a custom background or something. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I had to figure out a way. I'm going to start doing my research on that. Um, but other than that, it seems like everything besides the events and the back button, it seems like everything else is going pretty well. Um, it's looking like it's exactly what I... Well, not exactly, but what, what, kind of what I'm hoping for for that. I hope to add a lot more stuff to it. Um, but 
we'll have to wait and see. This is actually something that I really want to work on. And this is something that um, my partner actually, she wants to actually see how the app goes so then she can actually use it in the long run too. So yeah, uh, hopefully things will get better, um, especially by the time the final project is due. Um, it seems like I'm at a good pace. I just really need to fix up a couple of things and... Oh, another thing is that for some reason this only runs on um, the iPad and it runs well on the iPad but for some reason anytime I try to actually launch it on like say an iPhone the iPhone simulator for let's say for example doesn't seem to want to work that well it looks pretty funky right at the moment let me move this to the side this over here so this is obviously the iPhone this is coming from the iPad um, I don't know how it got like that like ever since I updated to Xcode 6 it kind of it's, it's kind of a little funky like that um, it doesn't make things as easy as a uh, um, iPad app and an iPhone app it doesn't seem to do that it does everything like simultaneously so it's supposed to fit but it doesn't seem to want to fit. Um, you're going to see how it looks right now once this thing starts up. Um, make sure everything's fine. Uh, let's see. Either way, yeah, as it loads up. Either way, that's what I'm kind of worried about. It's just the fact that it works well on the iPad, but it doesn't work well on the iPhone simulator. So, ah, there we go. So, as you can see, I can't even move it. it just It's just huge. Like, this is how it looks right now. I don't know why it looks like this. And I'm trying to figure out why it looks like this. Um, so, yeah. So, if anybody kind of has an idea on how... On the reason why that that's like that, um, just let me know. Uh, until then, uh, this is pretty much my project. Uh, like I said, it's going well. Just still need to fix a couple of things, and I hope everything works out before, um, well, before the end of the month.